He had escaped across the western border and into Guatemala with his biological son, following the vicious killing of his common-law wife, Jennifer Archia, and stepdaughter, Nitzia Katsim. But Brian Castillo is back in police custody. The 28-year-old was captured in San Benito community in Petén, Guatemala, on Tuesday afternoon through the joint efforts of the Mobile Patrol Unit and the Special Forces of Petén. La verdad que es muy contento, complacido con el trabajo que realiza el intermotorizado con la DIFEP de acá del departamento del Petén, luego de que se cuenta con la información eh, de la sala situacional de gobernación departamental, donde una persona nos informa sobre eh, el individuo el cual es responsable del asesinato de su familia en el vecino país de eh, Belice, se encuentra dentro de la jurisdicción del departamento del PT, dándole seguimiento eh, junto al élite motorizado y la IFED, se logra neutralizarlo dentro de una vivienda. Se están realizando las coordinaciones para que pueda ser trasladada a la orden de captura y poder eh, entregarlo al vecino país eh, Belice. Within hours on Tuesday night, Castillo was handed over to local authorities at the western border crossing between both countries. By this afternoon, Castillo was charged for the double murder, which occurred on Sunday night inside an apartment in the Santiago Juan area of San Ignacio. While he was detained in Guatemala, in a confession of sorts, Castillo admitted to killing his wife, saying that they were both drunk and he was defending his son because he claims Archia had a knife at his throat. A statement from Castillo that will very likely be used during the trial. The family wants justice for the killing of their loved ones. We don't want to know anything about him. We just want justice to just pay for what he did, right? This is, this is like an assassin execution. This is not a dog, this is not a butcher house, right? This is human being. Everyone has a conscience of soul. Dwayne Moody for News 5.